Hi guys, I will welcome you to the introduction to PHP programming. I believe that um, you've done or you've learned a lot from our previous discussion, which is the JavaScript programming um, last semester. For this semester, we'll be learning the PHP programming and hopefully we can insert the database um, so that um, you will be able to create a fully diverse um, dynamic type of website. Okay, so let's start learning. So there are three basic understanding before learning the PHP. First, of course, I believe that we're done discussing about the HTML because this is your um, first um, web designing or the HTML and also the CSS. Um, you took this course way back in your grade seven. I believe that you've learned a lot about that one. Again, the, H the HTML, this is basically for the content. Um, the CSS, basically this is for the presentation and also the design of our, um, of our website. And lastly, the JavaScript, um, the purpose of the JavaScript, again, this is for the action. This is also for the performance. When we say action, if the user will click the button, the button should present something or what should be the action of the button. I believe that you've learned a lot about JavaScript in the previous semester. So let's proceed in, um, in defining or in understanding what is PHP programming. So PHP programming, by the way, it was unleashed um, by Rasmus um, Lerf, uh, Lerdoff. Um, it was un unleashed way back 1994. Uh, meaning of the PHP, it's basically PHP hypertext preprocessor. So PHP is actually a P, uh, it's actually a server side scripting language um, that is embedded in the HTML format. Okay? It is used to manage a dynamic content databases session tracking, even build an entire e-commerce site. I know that if you have, um, if you heard about um, Laravel, uh, sorry, Laravel, uh, we also have um, Code Igniter. Those are the frameworks used by PHP. Um, you can learn more about that one soon, but for now, let's go with the basic. Um, let's go with the foundation first of the PHP. I believe that I want you to be, uh, I want you to use um, Visual, um, Visual Studio Code or your Notepad++ or your Sublime for those um, users or for those students who doesn't have computers. Basically, you can use, um, I want you to use, I have it here. Uh, I want you to use um, JS Anywhere or the decoder, okay? That's actually for intended for your coding experience using your phone or your tablet, okay? So what are the five characteristics of PHP? First, simplicity. Next, efficiency. When you say efficiency, it can, if you are expecting this kind of output, of course, the PHP will give you that kind of output. Of, make sure as well that your codes are correct. Next, security. Um, in the security part, um, if we will go deeper in the PHP programming, um, there are some features that we can add, or there are some certain codes that we can add to help us secure our website. Fourth, and the second to the last, flexibility. Again, it can be used by the other type of frameworks aside from Code Igniter. Um, there's also what we call Laravel, okay? Also familiarity. That's why those frameworks exist because of PHP, it's so familiar, okay? To all programmers or to all web enthusiasts, okay? Even though that you're only a blogger, it's not V as in vlogger, huh? Uh, if you're only a blogger, then you have, uh, you need to learn about PHP. PHP, it's really, um, it's, uh, it's really easy to understand. So I think you don't have any problems with this one. 
Okay. Uh, I will show you steps on how to run a PHP program using your Exam server. Um, aside, um, aside from using your Visual Studio Code, I also want you to download Exam. So how to download Exam? Basically, if you can see my screen, one moment. Okay, all you need to do is to search Exam. One moment. Okay, here. So after that, I can't see my mouse. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see here, um, it depends. Okay, here, download XAMP. Again, you can see here Apache Friends. And you can basically choose your operating system. So, for example, you are uh, you are a Windows user, um, you are a Linux user, or a Mac user. Basically, you can um, download it here. Okay. So after downloading it, okay. After downloading it, since I'm using a Mac, all you need to do is go to your one moment. Okay. All you need to do is go to your application part. Okay. In your application part, I believe it's already here in the slides. Okay. Let me explain first what is a SAMP server. Um, basically, a SAMP server, it is a free, open source, cross-platform web server. This is, aside from SAMP, um, XAMP server, there is what we call the WAMP server, okay? But for now, um, we will be using the XAMP since we don't have a domain. When you say domain, that's actually the www. then your website name dot com, right? Since we don't have that one, we'll be using this XAMP, okay? Because this will serve as our sign relator, okay? When you say sign relator, it's basically um, what should be what what you what you should see in the real life. Um, it will be simulated uh, using the SAMP server. Okay, so that's the SAMP server. So first step. Okay, of course you need to aside from downloading it, you need to install the XAMP in your computer, and you will be able to see something like this. It's just like a bone. Uh, it's just like a a toy, um, a dog bone toy, like this one. There. Step two: make sure to install the XAMP in your C drive. This is for Windows um, computers. Then, aside from that, you need to go to XAMP HD Docs and create a folder on um, Grade Nine PHP. Uh, one moment. Let me edit that one. I believe that. We need to, I can't see it, one moment, it's okay. So again, this is for Windows computers, but for now, I will show you an example in the Mac computer. So make sure that um, you're in the XAMP folder. If you're in the XAMP folder, go to HD Docs, and then in the HD Docs, I want you to create this kind of folder so it's grade 9 php exercises i forgot i did not put exercises here so it should be um, grade 9 php exercises so after that uh, we will be creating our first php program in xamp and name it as add.php using the codes below so basically for this one um, I will be showing you um, a sample um, PHP code and in our next video lecture um, I will show you or I will explain to you and demonstrate how to use different syntax in PHP. Again, um, since you're done um, understanding the JavaScript, the PHP side will be more easier. Okay? And for those mobile app users or for those um, decoder or java uh, sorry j um, j anywhere or java code uh, javascript anywhere 
um, you can actually type this code without using the exam okay this is basically for the um, for the um, um, computer users okay so let me show you my Visual Studio Code first. Let me open it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, one moment. View. Here, appearance. No. Wait. Let me do that one later. Okay. So first thing that we need to do. One moment. Let me close this one first. Oh God. Okay. And show first. Okay, here. So, first thing that we need to do, of course, we need to, it is actually embedded inside our HTML code. So, basically, we need to use, uh, we need to use HTML, but let me save it first. I will be saving it first in the, again, look for the, XAMP folder in your computer and go to HT Docs and grade 9 PHP exercises. Since I was able to create one earlier, um, I will be creating another one. Add one.html. Okay, there you go. Next one. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. So we need to zoom in. There you go. Okay, good. So now, um, since I'll, I am inserting where I am embedding my PHP code inside my HTML, I wanted to put a head. Okay. Inside the head, again, I believe that you can still remember that inside the head, um, you can insert title, right? So, in the title, I will be putting addition of two integers. There you go. Done. Since I'm done with the head, I'll go and proceed with the body. Inside the body, aside from inserting your JavaScript, you can also insert your PHP code here. But technically, for PHP code, you need to make sure that it should start with this one with question mark with php don't forget to close that one with question mark again then that one okay are we good okay let's proceed so right now i will be using print then uh, i'm inserting h1 here um, php HP program to add two numbers basically the purpose of this program is to add two numbers so one moment uh, I'll be inserting BR so that or I'll be putting it here line break right okay after inserting BR I'll proceed in putting a variable one or val one equals 20 this is only for example huh so if you can see a dollar sign this is actually a php code okay you are actually deba in javascript in assigning or in creating a variable you need to use a var or you need to use let in php all you need to do is to use a dollar sign Okay, so after that, sum equals val1, sorry, oh god, okay, sum equals val1 plus val1 
involved too. I will explain more of the technicalities of this code in our next video lecture. Then the result would be the sum. The purpose of this video lecture, by the way, guys, um, this is only to show you how the PHP program works in your computer. Okay? So don't get confused. I will explain all the PHP codes later on. So if you're done with this, um, save it, okay? Again, you need to save it, one moment. After saving it, let's go back to our presentation. One moment, mm -hmm. okay, let's go back to our presentation. So after saving it, now we need to open our XAMP control panel. So this is, by the way, um, the um, the interface or this is by the way um, the app uh, this is by the way the look or the design of the X um, control panel if you are using your Windows computer uh, since I'm using a, uh, a Mac computer so all I need to do it's just to click it I need to put my password one moment don't worry you can see my password and make sure here that the Apache, there, you can see Apache here. This is my baby girl. <laughs> and the MySQL should be on, okay? Meaning of this one, you can see the stop. Meaning of that, it's already started, okay? If you can see that the Apache, also the MySQL are, are all green, meaning it's already starting, okay? So let me go ahead and start it all for me i will be starting it all lang ha here you can see the um, mysql database this is the same as the mysql here you can also see here the apache web server this is the apache okay so just let's just wait to make this um, buttons to be green okay so it's already running so since this is already running all we need to do now is to Step five, we need to go to a browser and type this one. Okay, localhost grade nine PHP exercises. Then below, uh, below, uh, below figure shows PHP file created under the folder grade nine PHP exercises. This is what I created earlier. So if you can see, if you will go to this localhost or to this URL or to this um, to this link you will be able to see like this so let me show you so I need to go to again localhost then grade 9 PHP exercises then slash enter so after entering you'll be able to see two um, sorry um, you'll be able to see um, two HTML codes here but for the add one sorry I add I add it or I save it as dot HTML sorry this should be dot PHP that's why it did not work there PHP that's why there you go one moment let me double check Mm -hmm. No output. This is actually the string. One moment. Let me double check this one. Print. Echo, then the result should be the sum, right there. That's okay. Let's try to, let's see if this will work. So, let me refresh, refresh it. One moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, refreshing it. 
there. So if I'll click this, it's not working. But what happened to the add one? It's working with the add one. Let me double check my code. Let me open it. Open here. Add PHP. Open it. Okay. If you can see, this is actually the same. Why it's not working? There. I will just. Oh, sorry. Goodness. There. And I forgot this one. There. Or let me just go ahead and copy this one instead. Okay. I can just erase this. Wow, two. Okay, saving it. Okay, let's try running it again. Let me go back to the local host. Then grade nine exercises. Refresh it. Go to add one the PHP. There you go. It's working. Okay. It is actually because of my I forgot to put the quotation and also the semicolon in this part. I'm really sorry. There you go. So you were able to see the output which is PHP program to add two numbers then the result is basically 70 because if you will check our code 50 plus 20 it's 70 okay so let me go back to our presentation and that's actually the last step so click the add the php or the add one the php and it will show you this figure okay Hopefully you have learned a lot with this video lecture and see you in our next video lecture. Thank you.